Hello everyone, I am Ardhan Dude. You are watching Edis English Literature. Today, I am going to carry out a detailed analysis of Epiphany. It gems us a portrait of the artist as a young man. The topic is little bit complex and in a sense spiritual. I request you to be in rapt attention to get the true meaning. Critics have variously interpreted the experience of the modern novelist as tolling the death knell of story. The words are a proven truth for James Joyce and the like of stream of consciousness novels and novel writers. In fact, Joyce's expression and telling the experience took a different turn and in different form. The early years of James Joyce's life were passed in a Dublin. Joyce was almost blind from his childhood and he lived in a world of sounds. In that glamorous town of Dublin, Joyce wanted to express the immediate and the present. He called it an epiphany. The epiphany, the word, went from Greek epiphania, which means appearance. He wanted to express the immediate consciousness as reality. Joy is a portrait of the artist as a young man. Really demonstrates such epiphanies to signify the moment when all of a sudden the persona probes into the heart of things and experiences a sudden spiritual manifestation. Note these words, spiritual manifestation, one sum total of understanding of spiritualism and what he manifests, the things in front of him, is the reality. The present novel, a portrait, is also used to resolve and resolute a conflict that to be an artist faced with. James Joyce, a portrait of the yeah. artist as a young man, is a kinstall roman written in a modernist style. Now, what is a kinstall roman? Kinstall roman, which is also known as buildings roman or apprentice type of novel, deals with the youth and development of an individual who becomes or is on the threshold of becoming an artist. Here, the artist is Stephen Didalas, the hero. In fact, it is Joy's fictional alter ego, whose surname alludes to Didalas, the Greek mythological consummate craftsman. The religious and intellectual awakening of young Stephen is the making of an artist. In fact, at the end of each chapter of a portrait, Stephen Didelas meets religious and intellectual arcane and that are epiphanies. Stephen's spiritual manifestation and his aesthetic satisfaction is presented through this kind of epiphanies or putting forth of some objective realities through dreams or through half realities. It is a kind of sudden revelation of the inner truth by paralleling a visual moment. The journey of Stephen from his very tender infancy till he becomes an artist is presented through certain epiphanies to express the inflow of Stephen's conscious and its changing schedules. In the artistry of literary device, Stephen's rejection of priesthood, his spelling of nationality, his self-search in an artist in exile are presented through certain revelations meticulously and forcefully. 
Now, when we are going through all the texts of the novel, we will in fact in each of the chapter we will find out a few of the epiphanies and they are telling the tale of Stephen growing as an artist. So we will analyze chapter wise and try to locate a few of the epiphanies for your understanding. In chapter 1, Stephen at in childhood meets certain conflicts that makes him confusion. With the baffling impressions, Stephen perceives the world of elders. He oscillates and vacillates over the implicit faith on the elders and elders and his helpless insecurity. He has absolute trust justice and moral from his elders yet how how they quarrel about political and religious matters he cannot understand so in the dining table when the elders are discussing politics he is rather a confused guy so naturally there is a marked difference between the expectations and reality but ultimately stephen triumphs when he gets rusticated at school he is being hailed as hero. Thus, at the end of the finality of resulting the conflict and achieving justice is marked by several epiphanies in his childhood till to the adolescence period. In chapter 2, we pass into Stephen's adolescence where a few of the family problems disturbs him. In school, his essay is accused of hearsay and his schoolmates' unfriendly attitude to him hurts him dearly. But more distressfully, increasing hatred for father on the part of Stephen widens inch by inch, days by days. Interestingly enough, Stephen's ideal said of beauty and the ideology of understanding the purity transits it into a vogue erotic fantasy of the girl Mercedes who often comes into his dreams so torn in disputes ultimately resolving into an epiphany towards a learning experience Stephen's life is like that of a dream of Mercedes in those days of childhood and it is united with the so many of the erotic experiences that ultimately he goes into the embrace of a whore. Though it is an absolute sin, Stephen passes into an emotional learning and resolution. Now I just quote the lines tears of joy and relief shown in his delighted eyes. In arms, he felt that he had suddenly become strong and fearless and sure of himself. Extending the same conflict, Stephen in chapter 3 finds himself frequently into the, in the embrace of whores. Stephen's moral dilemma and sinned meeting, the world of religion and doing the epiphany provokes him immense relief. Now, what he is doing, he is doing a kind of experience. That experience leads him towards artistry and the experience is his epiphanies. It says he had confessed and God had pardoned him. His soul was made for and holy once more, holy and happy. The past was past. The celebrodium had come to him. The past was past. 
so these are the realization and ultimately his confession and that's true epiphanies purifies him and leads him towards artistry the journey of stephen to be an artist bore is narcissism it is proving truth by the epiphany of muse at sewage in chapter 4 more complex than any other is the description of the figure of the girl on the beach after the vision of hawk like man flying sunward above the sea and the suggestion of all the emotional associations which radiate from the glimpse of her the vision of mysterious bird like mythical figure is the attitude of stephen's vocation of an artist it is the message he receives from the sky heavenly yet flow of life it is a kind of religious ammunition a voice of divinity in romantic ecstasy stephen learns the truth of beauty and art and finally an artist is born finally in chapter 5 stephen wishes to encounter the reality of experience and invokes the mythical dedalus to aid him in the purpose of building an artist it is here to be mentioned that there are many other epiphanies which contribute to a certainty in developing stephen and in his journey to be an artist such as tower of ivory house of gold fetus references that we find in the college desk so it can be told that epiphanies are used randomly in whole of the text of a portrait and here both the world of stephen and joyce as an artist is parallelly displayed here and we cannot separate stephen from joyce persona and in fact the alter ego of joyce is stephen and his journey through the telling truth of experiences a kind of spiritual manifestation is there in whole of his life in fact each and every artist goes through this kind of spiritual and didactic journey spiritual and a kind of aesthetic journey and that journey makes him an artist now as you gone through the discussion on epiphanies have understood the word epiphany and how stephen experiences and root becoming an artist and it's a parallel to james joyce's own personal life you will be further interested to the topic of stephen's development of being in totality now you can pop up here and ask me question regarding this i will initiate further lectures on the same topic if time permits like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel bye bye thank you